for a special edition of BBC Breakfast as we launch the UK's biggest children's writing competition, 500 Words. We have a message from Her Majesty Queen Camilla, read by one of our judges, Seleni Henry. The hunt is on. We seek a star. The best of luck, Camilla R. We will have the other judges, some of them here on the sofa. We will tell you how to enter and, more importantly, what the prizes are going to be. Good morning. Also in today's news for you, the Metropolitan Police say they are investigating fresh allegations of sexual offences against the comedian Russell Brand. Newcastle hospitals failed to send out 24,000 letters from senior doctors to patients and their GPs after they became lost in a new computer system. Good morning. More questions and growing uncertainty this morning over the future of the HS2 high-speed rail line. As costs spiral, we hear from those along the route about the possible impact. The actor David McCallum, who played a Russian spy in The Man from Uncle, has died at the age of 90. In sport this morning, the best golfers in Europe touch down in Rome as they prepare to avenge that humiliating defeat in Wisconsin two years ago against the United States in the Ryder Cup, this time on home soil. Uh, former nurse Lucy Letby will face a retrial on an outstanding allegation that she attempted to murder a baby girl. She was given a life sentence last month for the murders of seven babies and the attempted murders of six others at the Countess of Chester Hospital. Her legal team has lodged an application to appeal against those convictions. The NHS in England has passed a grim milestone with more than a million hospital appointments cancelled because of strikes. The industrial action began in December and last week saw the first strike by junior doctors and consultants at the same time. Some say the true scale of the disruption is likely to be higher. Gatwick Airport will cancel around 82 departures over the coming week because of high levels of sickness, including COVID, among air traffic control staff. The largest number of cancellations is expected on Friday, with 33 departures affected. EasyJet passengers will be the most impacted, with British Airways and Ryanair also cancelling flights. Let's have a look at this morning's newspapers now, shall we? We're starting with The Times. The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak says he is alarmed by the escalating cost of HS2 amid claims that executives on the project have acted like kids with a golden credit card. That's according to the newspaper. The Telegraph reporting that the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, will warn that as many as 780 million people will be eligible to claim asylum without radical reform of global refugee rules. The shocking state of prisons in England mean one in ten should be closed down. That's the main story in The Guardian this morning, which quotes the chief inspector of prisons who says that ageing inner city jails are overcrowded and barely fit for purpose. And let's look online, shall we, the story that we have just been sharing with you this morning. That is the news that David McCallum, the star of NCIS and the man from UNCLE, has died at the age of 90. His family paid tribute to his passion and commitment. Now the front pages are looking this morning. Now the mail there leading with an upcoming speech by the Home Secretary in which she will say that channel migrants are not refugees. And that speech is also the main story on the front of the Telegraph. And the Express says Suella Braverman is urging reform of what she calls the absurd migration system. Now, according to the Metro, Russell Brand has claimed the government is out to censor him. And this comes as the Metropolitan Police announced that it has launched an investigation into alleged historical sex offences, which Mr Brand denies. And it's the same story there on the front page of the Mirror, the headline, as she can see, the brand sex assault claims grow. And The Sun, too, makes that its top story. And The Guardian there leading with a new report by the prison's watchdog, which says that many are in shocking states and that one in ten should be closed down. Now, the Yorkshire Post there carrying fears by senior MPs that the predicted scrapping of the northern section of HS2 would be an act of gross vandalism, which would only worsen the north-south divide. The Times says the Prime Minister is getting concerned about what's being called the runaway costs of the HS2 project. 
The Financial Times, meanwhile, quotes the new American owners of Birmingham City Football Club, who say the HST was one of the reasons they bought the club and scrapping it would damage trusts in the UK. And the eye hears that if Labour win power, they intend to impose 20% VAT on private school fees within their first year in office. And finally, the Daily Star tells us that the RSPCA is being overrun with rabbits and other furry creatures as the cost of living crisis forces owners to dump them. And if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, just scan the QR code which is on your screen.